Here are the best reasons you should be using Scratch as a beginner game developer and some reasons why you should stay away. It's capable of so many things now that actually blew my mind when I came to research this video. I remember the days where the only way you could detect collisions was from a change of colour. Well now you can do pathfinding, platforming, multiplayer, ray casting. I'm not kidding. The main reason I'm recommending it though is that it's really easy to use. You can simply drag and drop a fun experience into place in very little time. This links to the next tip which I'll get to in a second but this ease of use completely removes any friction that comes with learning and the less time you have to spend learning how to do something the more time you can spend actually doing it. I'm going to put forward that for small prototypes and small demos of games, speed is king and scratch is speed. So you need to ask yourself if you'd rather spend a week in a traditional game engine making the game correctly, whatever that means, or an afternoon dragging around some cute blocks. Something that can't be underrated is that scratch is just really nice to look at, other than the fact it uses light theme. Nice almost considering deleting this entire video because of that. Come on, okay, let's be honest. Which one of these, visually, would you rather work in? Something like this, something like Unity, Unreal. They can be really, really off-putting. Hell, even the Roblox Studio, or Core, which are made for beginners, made for people that don't know what they're doing. I don't understand them. I'm not saying I'm an expert. What I do understand is that I myself, a few years ago, was put off by all of these game engines because- <laughs> That looks so bad. <laughs> Whoa. You have to remember that for almost everyone, game dev is a hobby, not a job. So if you can just make the whole thing more fun and be a little kid playing with Legos again, why not? If you take anything from this video, I really want you to get this. Do not let anyone make fun of you for doing something that you enjoy. It doesn't matter what game engine you use. I'll give you this game. What, what game engine was it made in? Guess. What about this one? You can't tell, right? And another perfect example. I was reading this Raspberry Pi guide a while ago and I saw a lot of reviews saying it's for kids, it's too simple, it's too basic and childish and don't buy it. And yes, it uses Scratch, but you know what? I don't care one bit. So it was really fun, damn it. Hell yeah, I want to make this cat jump and draw a heart and fall into a bit of lava and within the hour, all of a sudden, I'm building electronics and having a rainbow in my hand. Scratch games are open source. And that might sound crazy given you don't actually write any code. But this is my number one personal favorite reason as to why Scratch is truly the best. The learning. Key difference. Ask any dev and I guarantee 99% of them will tell you that they had their brilliant game idea, sat playing their favorite indie game, or just in the shower randomly after turning that indie game off for the day. And Bam! Inspiration struck. Billion dollar idea. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get to it, get to it, get to it, get to it. And what am I doing again? That sounds familiar to you then. Imagine playing Celeste and there being a button in the top corner to see the entire code base and that showed you exactly how it was made. Congratulations. You just invented Scratch's fantastic remix mode to see the code, change things around, edit the values, all while the game is still running. It's a feature that's absolutely brilliant for tinkerers and people that learn by doing and seeing and what happens when you change a certain jump value or a color collision range, or anything. The only other game engine I know that does this is Godot. You can game a studio if you pay for it, but that doesn't count. On the topic of Godot, that's the game engine I would pick if you want to graduate from scratch a bit. I've been a Unity dev for five years. I'm switching to it myself. But I, I just sort of ripped down ripped down my script. So I was thinking about the being live, like being able to change things. It's not exactly the same, but Mario Maker on the Wii U. The original, not the new one. The new one's trash. Well, it's not trash, but the original one lets you play a level, something that you might have huge inspiration ideas from and want to go and make a level yourself. You can click on an edit button and it will tell you how that level was made. You can see the whole thing exactly the same. Being able to see all of that is such an incredible resource. Being able to learn and figure out how someone did something. You don't have to brutally try for hours and hours out. You can literally just open the level up and see what they did and learn from it. This is genuinely something that I find is spectacular about Scratch. I love it for it, and I want to see this everywhere. I know it's literally going to be impossible. The next huge solution for me actually is monetization. Now, this is going to be a controversial topic, but hear me out. All the money you make in games on Scratch is entirely your own because it's nothing. So at least you're not being exploited like some other game engines made for kids. <laughs> <laughs> the lack of monetization, yes, it is a negative to some, and I will get back to some negatives later. But to me personally, it's actually a pretty big positive because the second you introduce money, you introduce toxicity, and without it, the community around Scratch is actually fantastic because of this. No, no one's trying to steal from anyone, you just, you know, have fun. And it's a breeding ground creativity alongside the remix feature, which just works. The negatives. Well, it turns out Scratch loves being open source so much that they removed some essential features of the game engine, which I really think need to be there. Can't export Scratch games for anything else, but there are tools that allow you to convert a Scratch game into a web build that you would put on itch.io or anything, which is all I've ever done with my games anyway, so I do understand Scratch is not meant for this. I'd really like to see it as an official feature someday. The true negative to this though is that anything you learn in Scratch is probably not going to be transferable to anything else. I think if you work in Unity and you learn C Sharp or you start in Dough and you learn Python. We just learn Python from scratch and use Pygame, which I recently just did for the first time and it's great fun. How you write changes, but the actual words are pretty much always the same. And the basic layout, again, is pretty much the same between everything. So the skills you learn in scratch aren't too transferable, other than the fact that 
they are. And I really don't like this criticism of anything that uses visual design. Because what's important is the underlying fundamentals. Understanding how the algorithms behind your code work. How to use an if statement on a boolean condition. How to loop a set number of times or how to loop until the condition is true. Must burn. I think there's definitely something to be said for just learning those fundamentals as easily as possible. Because you're going to have to change the specific way you do them in every single language that you use. Coding this is. But the idea behind them is the same for everything. So why not learn it visually? You're getting the same fundamental ideas. It's still sort of structured the same because they have nesting of everything with the blocks, which I think is actually really cool. So if you're sat there thinking that I'm going to go and learn Scratch, but oh god, I'm not going to know anything. Like I'll have to relearn everything completely again. You're right. You're going to have to learn how to do everything. Physically, what to like type. But your brain should sort of figured out the patterns that have come across everywhere and every single thing. And honestly, that's the hardest part. Unfortunately though, choosing which game engine to use doesn't make any difference if you don't actually know what to make. And my favourite way of coming up with these ideas is to take part in game jams. I'm actually turning a game I made in just 48 hours into a full commercial release. It's really scary, so I'd really appreciate it if you check that out. Hopefully it can inspire you, and as always, whatever you do, happy coding everyone.